Kroger, the largest grocery store chain in the country, is facing questions for using electronic price tags with the ability to change prices at the push of a button. So Senators Elizabeth Warren and Bob Casey sent a letter to Kroger expressing concerns about those practices, potentially creating price surges for shoppers. So here's what's going on. Kroger uses electronic shelving labels that can be changed at any moment to reflect higher or lower prices. The store started using these digital labels at a few dozen stores back in 2018, but quickly expanded it to 500 locations last year. They say it saves employees time and claims they are saving customers money through this dynamic pricing, meaning higher demand products can be priced higher and then lower demand products will be lowered. This will result in grocery bills being priced like airline tickets. And it's not the first time this has been brought to our attention. Earlier this year, the FTC did look into concerns about price gouging from Kroger stores, but did not find any definitive proof. And technically, Kroger is free to change their prices however they see fit, as long as they don't conspire with suppliers. So joining me now, I'd like to welcome in Phil Limpert, a supermarket guru. Phil, it is so great to see you. Thank you so much for your time. So I mentioned Thank this you. at the top here. Dynamic pricing is common in other industries, thinking flights, hotels, car sharing services. But Phil, what makes it so different when it comes to essentials like groceries? Well, first, Nicole, we have to remember that prices are up over the past three years about 25 percent, a little over 25 percent. It's emotional. And frankly, we need food to eat. We don't have to buy an airplane ticket. We don't have to buy a uh, rental car. Uh, we do need our food to eat. So uh, the senators are really looking at two parts of this. Um, and also keep in mind, Kroger's not the only one. Walmart has it in 2,300 stores. There's other retailers on, around the country that have it as well. Uh, so uh, Senator Warren and Casey are looking at two things. One, as you correctly pointed out, that prices could go up. So, for example, on a hot summer day, um, the price of watermelon might go up. Um, on a cold summer day, it might go down. Um, and it's true that what Kroger is saying, it does take a lot of waste out of the system. So you don't have to have people, you know, putting tags on those shelves. That's a very lengthy, costly process. So it does take some costs out of the system. But the other part uh, that the senators are really worried about, in the case of Kroger, their system is called Edge, and it's built on Microsoft. And what they want to do is put cameras on those shelves as well. So it, it can identify that um, I'm a white guy. And therefore, what's going to happen is this special offers or pricing is going to be different for me than it is going to be you um, as a female. So it, it goes a step beyond just the prices. And that's their concern. Phil, I am appalled. I'm honestly reacting as you were saying that the cameras and then basing Pricing on that, I feel like I am preemptively slightly offended. Uh, where does this investigation from lawmakers stand right now? Well, um, the letter went out to Rodney McMullen. Um, the senators um, are waiting for a response. They've given them 20 questions to answer, and then we'll see what what happens from there. Uh, but keep in mind, uh, there's been a lot of controversy from the FTC over supermarket pricing as well. Uh, they're looking at supermarket profits. Uh, they had a public hearing on August 1st for the Strike Force Committee. So a lot of activity is happening. And then we have this looming Kroger Albertsons merger, which keeps on getting delayed that the FTC and nine attorney generals are suing to block. Um, so, you know, the pricing of supermarkets is going to be a big issue for a while. Uh, it's going to be a few months until we see any kind of resolve. But for us as consumers, it's not necessarily good news right. because putting this technology in our supermarkets, sure, they can say, well, we're not going to raise prices, you know, for surge pricing and so on. But once that technology is in there, who knows? Exactly. Yeah, I was going to ask you how that proposed Kroger Albertsons merger played into all this. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.